Hi guys, so today's video is going to be how to create this look. This is my general go-to look, maybe if I've only got 5-10 minutes to get ready, so maybe before work or if I'm going to go out and see friends or I've got a visitor coming over, this is generally what I would do. So if you want to know how to recreate this look, keep on watching! So to start off, I'm going to prime my face using the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I do always wait for this to soak in before doing anything else because I don't want to put my foundation or anything on top of it and it to feel really slimy. And the bonus is it smells really good. So to start with, I always like to start with my brows. So just using a spooler, just brushing them out just to tidy them up a little bit. Then going into the Rimmel Brown Pencil, Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. As you can see, I'm just going to shape my brows with it. And I do use this a lot, as you can probably tell by the size of it, it is tiny. Now just to fill in my brows a little bit, I'm just going to use the Rimmel Brow Shape. This is also in dark brown and it's just going to make my eyebrows a little bit darker. Now just to tidy them up a little bit, I'm using Collection Concealer. This is in Fair and I'm just going to pop this on my eyes as close to my brow as I can get without it being too thick. And come down a little bit onto my eyelid just so I'm creating a bit of a base for when I do start my eye makeup. Now using a concealer brush I'm just going to get this as close as my brow, as close to my brow as I possibly can just to sharpen it all up a bit and then using a beauty blender I'm just going to smooth it all out.
just to prep my lids a little bit before starting my eyeshadow I'm just gonna buff them out a little bit with a little bit of powder on a big powder brush so to start with the eye I'm just gonna go into this style London Eaton Gardens palette and I'm just gonna use a shade that's quite close to the natural shadow on my eye and this is just to add a little bit of depth Now going into a fawn shade, I'm just going to place this onto my crease just to add a little bit more warmth. So as you can't actually see this colour because I've cut it off, it is like a reddy brown shimmery sort of colour. Um, I'm just going to pop this onto the outer corner and just bring it in halfway across my lid and blending it up just a little bit. Now for the inner corner I'm just going to use the rose gold shade out of the palette and I'm just going to blend this over into the red. Now onto the face, this is my go to daily foundation, it's Fora and this is in Nude. I do love this as it pretty much covers all of my imperfections, well as much as I sort of want them covering really because they are there and you know they don't bother me too much. Um, it wears really well to be honest, I can wear it all day and it sort of stays put and I'm just going to blend it all out using a damp. Beauty Blender. 
beauty blender get your words right Now to add a little bit of shape back into my face, I'm using the Maybelline Eye Eraser in Ivory and I'm just going to pop this in all the usual places that you highlight your face and again just blend it all in with the Damp Beauty Blender. Now into my well used, well loved and well dropped powder. This is the Rimmel Clay Complexion and it's in transparent. I'm just going to pat this all over my face with a big powder brush. Now I'm going to slightly contour and add a little bit of colour into my face. I'm just using the Body Collection Bronzer and I'm just going to use a large fan brush and pop this sort of on the jawline, on the forehead, on the nose and under my lip, under the chin, just to make it look like I've got a bit of shape to my face and not just a circle. Now for a little bit of blush, this is I Heart Makeup Blushing Hearts and I do love this, it is super pretty. Now we've got to have a little bit of highlight going on. So I bought this a few weeks ago and I have become a little bit obsessed with it. Um, it's only a cheap one, it's just real techniques and it's called Galaxy Girl. But I am loving it and I'm just going to use a little fan brush to pop this on. Just using the same highlight as I just have done, I'm just going to use an eyeshadow brush and just pop some of this into the inner corners of my eyes to make them pop a little bit more. Back into the eyes, I'm just going to go back into the red shade, just going to pop this on the lower lash line from the outer corner into the middle and then I'm going to go into the rose, rose gold shade and pop this from the inner corner, corner for god's sake <laughs> and blend it together with the red so to finish these these eyes 
we'll just go with that to finish off the eyes i'm just going to go into the thick and fast mascara and this is in film noir And last, but by no means least, are my teeny, teeny, tiny lips. So I'm just going to use the MUA Lux and this is in Gravity and I'm just going to struggle to try and perfectly put on my lipstick. It is a struggle. So this is the finished look. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, press that subscribe button. Bye guys, have a nice day.